Hello and welcome back to another Andrew Says I Wouldn't Lie to You, except for maybe this once. I've been following the whole China and Hong Kong thing a little bit more than most people, I think, over here at least. I'm sure over in Australia and everything, people are paying more close attention. They're a lot closer to it. And it's interesting to see how the mainland communist, the one China people, are reacting to it. Because it's hard to tell if many of them who are commenting from other countries are afraid to say anything about the Chinese government and therefore they would be arrested for speaking out, or if they're completely indoctrinated into the Marxism, the Maoism, and everything that goes along with being a person in communist China. And at this point, they think that their opinions are normal, being against religion, being against free speech, uh, thinking that it's okay to arrest people just for protesting against their government. Now, check out some of the responses I saw on a video the other day. Oh, I think if they go in jail, there must be some reason. Well, you don't think that the communist government is a little bit dodgy? No. 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 Because, no, because Are you Aussie? No. You've got an Aussie accent. Oh, well, how, how long have you been in Australia? Nine years. Nine years? Yeah. You don't believe that the communist government do wrong? No. no. Do you prefer communism or capitalism? Communism. 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 Yeah. Do you live here? Yeah. Why? I both. Because we're here to learn. Yeah. Oh, you're studying. Yeah, yeah. studying. So you're, you're going to go back after? Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, so of course. You, you prefer communism? Yeah. And you don't think that the co the government in China does anything wrong? Yeah. No. No wrong. No wrong. No wrong at all. So stop. So putting people in jail for for practicing religion is okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Freedom of speech, stopping people from protesting, it's okay. Yes. I suppose he could have said just about anything there, couldn't he have? Is murder wrong? No. Is using your phone in the middle of a theater wrong? No. Is pineapple on pizza wrong? No, hold on, stop, like right there. You've gone too far for me. But they're so far down the road, the rabbit hole, if you will, of being okay with their being wrong speak. And it reminds me of a video, of a video that I posted recently where... This girl says people should just know that there are certain things they shouldn't say in public and you can't change the way people think but and she, then she kind of stops herself from saying that but you can change the way people speak and that's what it is with these people. If you don't agree with them then you can't speak it into existence and it goes as far as to being legislated into the law where you can be fined. It's the law in Canada. It's the law in other countries where, like China, where you can't say th certain things or else you face persecution. I think everyone's able to believe what they want, but some people should just know to keep to themselves mm -hmm. or know what's appropriate to say or not. Because obviously you can't change what someone thinks about something, but you can change their pers like you can try to change it, you know what I mean? Now, if you don't believe in freedom of speech, then you probably be believe that it should be punishable by law, saying the wrong thing, which it is punishable in se several and certain countries. Now, as long as you're not uh, inciting violence or doing criminal acts of harassment, things like that, I think you should be able to say anything offensive that you want. But the implication here with laws in Ch like in China and laws in countries like Canada where you can get fined for misgendering or being offensive is that you should know that you're wrong and not say anything in that instance and right now in Canada you can be fined for saying things that just because a certain amount of people think are wrong like uh, gender identity you can be fined or I haven't seen anybody put in jail for that hopefully never come for that but there has been many cases so far where people have been fined comedians and regular people but right now it's just that social justice mob and they do have a little bit of pull in the government. But if they were to vote somebody in, let's say uh, Hillary Clinton or Mr. O'Rourke, uh, I won't say his uh, his fake name, was the president. And this, this view now becomes completely law and uh, completely the view of the government. Misgendering, offensive speech is arrestable, things like that. Then all of a sudden, now your preferred government that agrees with your ideology of limited speech is now the government and therefore they are now great. This is what seems to have happened in China. And if you can be convinced of this, then I'm certain you can be convinced that like in China, no religion and no questioning of the government is a good thing because it's bad for the progressive cause. I have no doubt that that could be the extension by which it becomes implemented. 
this stops our progressivism. I mean, if you have a problem with the government, then you must have a problem with progressivism, which means you're probably a fascist or a racist and you want to oppress other people that didn't vote for this wonderful, I don't know, Hillary Clinton or Justin Trudeau government. And then the next level after that would be, well, a religion oppresses, oppresses certain groups, so let's ban that. And to some certain extent, it does. There are certain religions that do oppress certain groups. But so you can see how this could be a very slippery, slippery slope, especially when it comes to terms of progressivism, where it's either you're with us or you're against us. Well, you don't believe that some religions are oppressive or that all religions are oppressive. Well, fine, jail for you. You said something racist, jail for you. You question the government, who's our wonderful progressive government. You must be, like I said, a fascist or something like that. Jail for you. Which of then, of course, of course, turns into government jobs, complete totalitarian state, taking all of your money through taxation, and and then all of a sudden you've got China. And if you think I'm wrong, read some of their pieces of legislation. Read the Green New Deal. Read how AOC wants to give welfare to. Um, illegal immigrants, while at the same time proposing essentially open borders. Now, they don't say open borders in the sense that other people do. That's just a, what's the word I'm looking for? A summary, a summation of their ideas. Because they say, don't hold people at the border in these uh, facilities. Don't deny anyone who claims refugee status. So either you want every, so you want everybody who's in detention to be released into the wild of um, wild west of America, or you want no asylum claims to be denied. Therefore, and they're they're using the system because asylum seekers don't just come in and get jobs. Refugees have a very, very, very low unemployment rate compared to the rest of native populations. So that's essentially what they're saying by other people having open border policies. So if you combine those two things, then all of a sudden you've got te a terrible country to live in, I'm sorry to tell you. SJWs also, social justice warriors, already aren't religious, and they don't pay attention to actual policies, so would it be that far of a stretch to say that it would be di not so difficult to ban religion under one of these governments getting into power, one of these Hillary Clinton governments, or one of these very far-left progressive AOC as your president? For the love of God, that would be terrible. And combined with their economic policies, which is let any let everybody uh, leech off the state, you've essentially got China. Because now, if you're if you're adherent to the state and they're the one providing you with any sort of source of income, because you've already come from another country and you're just like, why not? Why not just get this free welfare? Well, then they're going to either cut off your money or your food. And in exchange for that, you might want, you're might you going to have to work. Either they're going to cut off your food or your money or else you're going to work. So that's where the forced government jobs come in. And what kind of jobs? Well, in the Green New Deal, there is the retrofitting of all buildings, all housing, all roads, uh, expanding railways, doing all the th changing energy, uh, energy lines, all these things that have to be done and there's no money for them. So what are you going to do? How are you going to build them? That's when the people who are on government assistance come in and say, hey, you got to build this if you, and work for this if you want government assistance. It's not hard to spot, and, then, and it's the fact that almost all country, communist countries are built on the same uh, ethos, the same guidelines, and the same way. And if you watch these videos, you can most certainly see the communist canary in the coal mine, if you will, in, in the way that these people are thinking. But is it okay for somebody to believe in God? Yeah. yeah. But in China? Yeah, in China. Even, why is there a million people now in jail for, for practicing their religion? Because I think... they obey the laws for that. Sorry? I don't think they obey the laws for that. Because maybe, like, you're okay to believe in something what you believe, but like, if you actually do something weird, let's like, say you walk on the street and then you suddenly just go, yeah, Muslims. Like, like that. That will be in jail. Well, I would be. Only one China. Only one China. Yeah. What do you think they're asking for? Stupid. What are they asking for? Uh, they said uh, Hong Kong and Taiwan belongs to other nation. Do they ask that? Yeah. Just no, no, no. Only one China. Okay, but are they asking for? So as you can see, there's enough. You can see the social justice warrior. Uh, ideology embedded within them. Don't talk to people that the, the guy hustles them away. Don't talk to people that uh, disagree with you. Um, I don't understand why 
the, what these people are saying, but I disagree with them because they're saying that the Chinese government isn't good. And just like I said, um, if, if it's your perfect government, if it's your perfect progressive communist government, then why would you be against them? They're all stylish with their headbands and their nice clothes, going to school abroad. So obviously they're a pretty a privileged set of people. And they're fine with that portion of capitalism, that portion of China where you can get all this nice stuff and go all these go to all these places. They're fine with that. But when it comes to freedom of religion or freedom of speech and it's other people who have to deal with it, uh, they don't care about it. And that's a sad state to see, even out of communist China, especially out of people who are going to other countries to enjoy their freedoms and they don't even realize it.